everybody. Welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I am back with an interesting video for you. Today I want to talk about these isopro fuel canisters. And honestly, it doesn't matter what type of fuel canister that you use for this for this test. It's got to be one that has a Lindell style valve like this on it. What I want to talk about in this video is a brief, very quick way to tell how much fuel you have left in this canister. Now next to me you can see that I have a sink full of water and let's look on the fuel canister. This is something the MSR just started putting on their fuel canisters here recently and what it is is it's a gauge that lets you tell approximately how much fuel you have in the canister. So you're going to do a basic float test and if this canister has a lot of liquid in it, it'll sink really low in the water, like this first diagram right here. It'll sink very low and it'll be full. And then if it sinks, you know, about midway, it's, you know, you got about a medium amount of fuel. And if it rises or floats very high, then your fuel canister is starting to get low. So, what I do is when I introduce the canister into the water I make sure that I get this area underneath it I want to get the air pocket out because I don't want to set it on top of the air pocket it'll float too high and it'll tell me it's empty every time so I have to introduce it kind of upside down and make sure that there's not an air pocket being formed in there then from there I want to just let the fuel canister float and when it floats I'm going to spin it around and just look, the higher that it floats, the emptier it is. So the more that it floats down into the water, the heavier it is, you know, the fuller it is. So if it was sitting about like this, that'd be about medium. And up here, you can see that this canister is just about on empty. But again, if it was full, it would sit real low in the water. So that's a very brief way of being able to tell how full your isopropyl butane or propane canisters are. Again, it doesn't matter what style or what type of fuel canister, as long as it's the Lindell style valve canister. But this is, again, this is a very easy way to tell approximately how full your canister is. Now, you wouldn't want to do this in, in like a stream where the water is rushing or anything like that. But this is good, like if you have a pot, you can put some water in the pot, you know, or a sink or something like that, or some kind of reservoir. So you can see, again, this one's just about empty. Hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching. And as, as always, have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time.